Hey guys, Trevor Cordial here today, everyone, we're back with Star Aligned, episode 5. And then I thought that my day of recording was over, it comes out. I thought it was delayed until um, next week, to be fair, um, because of some apparently something to do with the broadcasting. But then I also did hear that it was still it was still airing on Hulu, so I guess it did just stop the Japanese broadcast for a week, but the, it still came out on Hulu, so... Yeah, it's good to know it's still coming out. I didn't really want to wait a week because this show is really, really good. Like I say, I love how we just got such a happy episode last week. And then it, it tricked us. It tricked us into thinking, oh, this is just going to be a happy episode. Friendship, everything. And then it ends off. But then there was an extra two minutes on the end of the episode. Where bam Extra scene with the dad being an absolute scumbag again. Oh, wait, I can't wait. Till he, oh, he's destroyed his racket as well. Oh my god, he, I can't believe it. someone elusive um, put in a comment. You put in a comment, like, I think the week before, saying, "Oh, I wonder if he's going to break his racket at some point." How how are you predicted? Um, but no, this anime has been a lot of fun so far. I'm enjoying it. I think like yeah, the unique spins it has. But I don't want to sound like a broken record, as I said. I love the unique spins, I love the drama aspects going to more character, but it still has a bit of fun with the tennis. But guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, subscribe. The Young Court will be over on Patreon on Sunday, along with the rest of the season of anime. And let's jump into this. No. Ooh, will he tell him? Oh, I don't say you broke it. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed this intro, actually. I was really surprised. Oh, mate, he's actually calling him... Oh, okay. Will you? I wonder if it's something you can talk about. Because it must be like. such a hard thing to talk about. Oh, wait. Mate. What? He actually said it. I'm glad. Oh, I love the little detail of the sit down because it's quite a serious topic. I mean, I should like to open it up, but I didn't expect him to open up so early on. Nah, it's not. Yeah, man, nice one. I can't think of any anime that's touched upon this subject. I just swear. Mm-hmm. His dad is such a scumbag. But he always tries to hide it. So if it doesn't happen, Oh, okay, that explains why the money was just lying about. Uh, I love how they added a bit more detail to that. That's oh, so I was kind of wondering right if the mum knows about it. I was getting a bit worried, about it. but the mum doesn't know about the beating. I'm guessing. So that's... okay. So yeah, I was going to say maybe if the mum knows about the beating, why would she even? But uh... mate, I can see he's being good friends. God damn it! That was a really good like opening up scene about its past. Oh, look how much that means to him. That's that was. That's good. That was a really good scene. Oh, that was actually really good. Like I said, I love how they just didn't... You know, at the top of where it's just like him just telling the story, basically. I love the way this show is handled, it's handling subjects so far. Oh, I love how I was sticking up for him. <laughs> Heroes. No. I love this group of boys they've added. Like I thought, I thought at the start it'd be too big of a cast. They couldn't, maybe couldn't handle it, but they're doing a good job so far. Are they always going to have it where his friends are around now? Oh, they're going to do the thing where like he's going to make sure everyone's there when the dad shows up. That's interesting. If they do do that, I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. If to do that, he's an absolute legend for doing that. Please be all his mate in the, in the apartment. Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, he's just going to give him the money to piss off. <laughs> Bitch. Mate. See, I can understand why Maki can't stick it, stand up to him because it's been since a kid. It's very damaging. 
You're fucking lying for your teeth. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, yeah, he was very violent, weren't he, in his past? That's something we don't know about, so. Because his mum was talking about it and everyone talks about how dangerous he is, so. Oh, oh mate, you stand up to him. Hmm. That was fucking. This is interesting. I want to know more about um, his past because, like I said, there was something like people mentioned that they're scared of him and stuff. So I wonder what he did. Mate, he finally stood up to him. That was fantastic. Mate, true bros. Oh, ho, ho, that's adorable. Mate, that's so good. I can't believe he actually stood up to him there. I don't know if throwing around the I kill you is a bit much, but... I can say we don't know him with his past. I'm glad, he got, oh, I'm glad that he's opened up a little bit to someone. Imagine holding all that in since she was a kid. You can't even talk to him anymore about it. We're going to get another terrible parent. Are we all good? That we're getting a bit of insight into the family life. Yeah. He has a little sister he cares for. Him. I'm really enjoying this. They seem to be closer now, which is good. I like that. They're talking to bond over. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Shown up. <laughs> Oh. You can still improve your ideas, my friend. Come on. Mate, when people be I always have when people take a dead heart on themselves. No, that's not the case. Well, I've talked about self-deprivating, mate. Come on. あの二人は僕の本当の両親じゃない。生まれてすぐに彼らに引き取られた。両親なんだ。なぜそうやさ。だおにもそう。母親は若すぎて。Mate, there's such an on all sorts of subjects here. Like, they're even going on about going into a bit of adoption now. Like, they're in, son. It's because you want this, son. Mate. <laughs> I'm glad they do let. There's actually law for that. I think that like, you should know that you adopted, but it's like they can just 100% be your real parents. No, that's not how. No, they they want. They obviously wanted a kid. Cause they want to adopted. I know. Obviously, sometimes adoption is all about you actually having kids. So that's a hard one. That is, yeah. Mate, this guy's been the emotional support for everyone, but who's going to support him? Evil. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. That sounded well evil. <laughs> oh. This bromance, I'm loving it. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a crush. Oh, she got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to practice as much as well. Mate, this guy's got a good pace. This guy's got a good pace, and I like it. 
<laughs> this match me do or die. <laughs> oh, he's grown on me. I like him a lot more. This is this this one episode didn't made him grow on me a lot. He's more extra than anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. that was, finally, a fucking. Hopefully, no after credits, please. <laughs> How many people they have in their club? Bloody hell. <laughs> You better get your ass whipped. <laughs> a punch from me. What a beard is. <laughs> Do you know what? That was a really, 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 really good episode. I'm joking. Um, no, but no, that was a really good episode overall. I think I really enjoyed just the moment where he, he stuck up to his dad. He, um, Miki shared his, shared his story with someone. Um, no, is it stars? Toma. So yeah, we've got to Toma. He shared a story with Toma. Toma um, was there with his dad. He threatened to kill him, and then he and then also um, Miki threatened to kill him as well. I'm really interested about Tim and like everyone, and we all we know is so far his mum's scared of him. Um, a lot of people in school were scared of him. So, yeah, and the way he worded his his how he worded it, like saying like he's only a minor, he'll get away with murder. Pretty, he probably won't get that very long from killing him. Was like, I wonder what shit he's done. Um, makes him more interesting. But I also love the bromance they've got and how much they sort of care for each other already. That episode really solidified the bromance for me, um, and I really enjoy. I just I don't know that was a really good episode overall for that for emotional side then this was on an adoption story where the guy's got a lot of self deprivation for himself that was also pretty interesting we sort of went on to the girl and just like the grandma and mum's argument I'm guessing it was the one who wanted to go to a posh school and wanted to go to like a regular school we've also got this tennis match going on which I'm really interested in like I said I've just enjoyed a slice of life stuff as well I really feel the friendship of everyone this episode and I feel like they're really suffering and that as much as it goes on they're going to be more I think I'm going to feel that friendship more and more I just think yeah and I love that the girl came to the match as well I just think this show's got a lot of so much potential to be fantastic I'm hoping it's going to be no it's only 12 episodes as I'm on my list but I hope it's going to be 25 but guys if you enjoyed the version leave a like subscribe and I hope to see you next time thank you for watching the video guys as always I'm much appreciated feel free to check out Patreon if you want early access and uncuts subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content along with I've got a playlist and best match for you hopefully you enjoy the content continue enjoying the content guys and yeah, hope to see you in the next one.